Welcome everybody, my name is Selenia and this is the Outlast comic book part 5 and uh, or issue and this is the last one actually from uh, well the comics um, series let's say um, well check out uh, the other parts uh, if you didn't um, see them or read them um, okay and um, I wanna say that this actually came out after the Outlast 2 release so it was Outlast, Outlast Whistleblower and uh, it was a time where nothing happened like I don't know two three years like something like that I don't know and then the comics appeared it was part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 and just after part 4 like I don't know some days, weeks, like a couple of weeks, uh, the Outlast 2 game just released. And, um, well, a lot of the guys just went through Outlast 2, and uh, still, these uh, comics were not finished. So, this is the part 5, the last and final, and uh, this is how uh, we complete the gap between Outlast, Outlast Whistleblower and Outlast 2. So um, let's see what happens in uh, the Arizona playground. Let the music play. Well this is the girl who we see um, in part 4. So um, well it's in another position but... Ah here we have the cross. So there is a man also with her. I don't know where he is. Okay. The company Markov logo, of course. Paul Mary and Paul and Glick. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Arizona. No problem. He ain't gonna let us get away. Every step we take, the less power he got. We'll get to the weak part of the world. And God itself ain't even gonna be able to find us. I hope so. Residence of Paul Marion. Okay. Do you know if uh, Yeshua Hanostri was a real person, like in the Bible? Uh, never heard of him. When's that book report to? Um, Thursday. You're getting an early jump. Figured I'd be too beat to work on the Wednesday. Uh, the transfusion and all. You didn't touch your dinner. Alice, honey, that's crazy. You're a string bean. A beautiful string bean. I wasn't hungry. It's not like I need extra calories. And shut up, Dad. God. Hey. Um, there's somebody missing with our mailbox. Hey. What is this? Okay coordinates your daughter is connected um, FBI inside hospital my partner and I had agreed not to investigate the coordinates Simon Peacock had given us turns out I was lying <sighs> Arizona okay hey Gleek it's Paul Gleek Pauline can you hear me hey Paul yeah I hear you now where are you it's noisy at the hospital, sorry to interrupt you on a Sunday. Residence of Pauline Glick. <coughs> You're not interrupting anything, I was just folding laundry, listening to Prairie Home Companion. <laughs> good, good, listen. I don't think I'm gonna make it into the office tomorrow. I have to spend some time with Alice. Look at this face. Oh my god, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. No worries, we all need personal time. Uh, I rented the biggest, most jacked up all-terrain SUV they rent me. Uh, and um, it still crept out about 20 miles short of the coordinates. Fuck me. No service. No service. Okay, car is broken down. Marion looks on the map, tries to find the coordinates location. Um, I guess the heat and the sun got to me. Heavenly God. Uh, 
Wong. And a hand appears from nowhere. Dad, what's wrong? Are they out of chocolate? Of hot chocolate. Um, I was back in that night 13 years ago. Hot choco. Watching my wife die. Love you, mom. Alice. Multiple uh, perforations of the intestines spread through all your wife's blood. Had to induce a coma in order to arrest progress. Internal bleeding. Surgery is no longer an option. Your wife is dead, Mr. Marion. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ellie... I don't know if it's... It should be Alice, right? I'm so sorry, honey. I didn't mean... What happens? What the fuck? We don't want no trouble, mister. I'm just gonna take your pistol. Who are you? Hey, take it easy. Jesus fucking Christ. Don't you take that name in vain. Click, 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 click. Safety's on. Safety first. Alright, who are you? Who's the girl? And Jesus, how pregnant is she? It seems that he cuts his hand right through. Oh my god. Fuck! God have mercy on your soul. Kachunk. Sharp. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Are you sure? Uh, you need hell... Maybe heaven. I guess the shock got to me. When I woke up, it was full dark. I followed her trail for a couple miles. Miles up, sure. Um, and it seems that Marion goes on his way still to the hospital, right? I kept seeing my dead wife. Joanne? Mmm... That's all you got? Hmm? I said I was seeing my dead wife. I heard you. It's the least crazy thing you've told me so far. <laughs> Fair enough. So, by the time I caught up with the pregnant girl, she'd found the road and locked onto a ride. Hey! Wait! And the girl goes away. Pretty easy. Two pieces of luck. One. I managed to get the license plate number. My phone was back in uh, range of signal. Hey, Glick, it's me. You are in such deep sight. I know. You lied to me. You went off the reservation. Actu I actually think I might be on a reservation like Indians or First Nations or... What the fuck are you doing, Paul? I fucked up. Don't fuck yourself any deeper. I'm on my way. In the morning, a family on their way to the Grand Canyon found me and took me to the hospital. Thank God someone helped Marion. Spill. Pauling Glick got the hospital six hours after I did. Can I make this work better? No. I told her everything, she wasn't impressed. Okay. Number one. You work for Murkoff, not Simon Peacock. Number two, you don't interfere with ongoing experiments. He, we only enter the equation when the science is done and the side effects need mopping up. So, shit, you don't even know if this is an experiment. And number three, fuck you, you don't work without me. We're partners, you stupid motherfucker. Uh, sorry, don't say you're sorry, I hate that. You want the silver lining to your shit show? I trace this license plate number on your palm. That pregnant girl is a patient in this hospital. You don't suppose you brought me a suit? Oh my god. <laughs> I then brought you a, a tie. Hope yellow is alright. As always. Your dead wife in the desert. You call it a vision, not a hallucination. It felt real, I could smell the hospital, I could smell my daughter, like that little kid smelled. 
I it felt real. Uh, first rule in the Markov playbook is don't get high on your own product. <laughs> yeah, but I'm wondering if I really killed that kid. I'm wondering about that girl. That girl is real. She's on a record here. But her pregnancy, what if it's psychosomatic? Like the women at Mount Massive could be a connection there with War Rider, of course. Um, it's a healthy baby boy. A remarkably healthy, in fact, considering the state of the mother. Okay, that's so weird. She was unconscious when she arrived here. You don't know her name? We've got her on record as Jane Doe. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it's Jane Doe. What about brain injury? You said there were anomalies in the CT scan. The scan must have been corrupted. What looks like a lesion in the amygdala, but perfectly symmetrical, damnest, damnest thing. Back to micro rehabilitation center. Miss Glick, is there more to your testimony? Yes, of course. Excuse me, I was just... The lesion is the girl brain. Uh, match the neural scarring common to morphogenic engine exposure, like the patients at Mount Massive. See Outlast Comic Issue 2. So you gotta go back and read them. Why not, if you didn't? Could we see those uh, brain scans? Um, they're already off to the lab, but we have copies. Test results in a lab scans. The girl evidence all of it. This had become a matter of containment. We'd love to meet the patient. This is Jane Doe. She's been unconscious since she got here. How many days does this mean? Uh, but the little guy in here has been kicking up a storm. We stood by Jane Doe's bedside for hours, then Paul noticed something. Is that a tattoo on her chest? A globe? No, wheels. Wheels within wheels. That's biblical from the book of Ezekiel. What the hell? Oh, that's exactly the cross that we see at the start. Um. Ezekiel, oh, papa, papa, you can't have him. You can't, I'll die before I let you kill him. Fuck. I seen the messenger and I know I ain't burdened with the enemy. My blood is true. I sipped at the fountain and borne the pain and marks of salvation. You ain't gonna take my baby. You ain't. Ain't. <coughs> okay. Yep, really the Mount Massive uh, psychosomatic thing. She's having a seizure. Get a doctor. Doctor! <laughs> Look at this guy. Um, it was then I was certain what we had found when we found Jane Doe. What had to be done. Um, we lost her. We need to leave now. She's dead. Gone. There was nothing we could do. Minimal footprint. Hmm, not feeling that good about this. I realized too late I was operating above my security clearance. I hadn't figured out yet the trap Simon Pico had led us into. What had been waiting for us out in the desert? Desert. Yeah, case closed. Are you sure she was dead? Oh, yeah, are you sure she was dead? Yeah, case closed. Mm. It's sad. You're a good dad. I still, I gotta get home. Alice has a transfusion tomorrow. I said I'd be there. He is a good dad. Oh my god, what? You always take care of a girl. What the hell? Home again. Alice, you home? Alice? You work for us now. What? Wait a minute. See, so in uh, her room, it is on the wall, you work for us now. Oh my god. And they left a finger of his girl. Oh my god. 
We still had to clean up that body Paul left in the desert, the boy. We grid search 40 mile radius surrounding. Um, his abandoned rental vehicle. We didn't find Dick. Really? We never found out what happened to that bo body, uh, if in fact it ever existed. Oh my god. Oh no. Here is the lady from Outlast 2. Oh my god. Chunk. Okay. Continued in Outlast 2. So. Okay. It, it's not looking just like in the game. Or in the game it's not looking like in the comics. <laughs> to be fair. But... Still, the, the pickaxe looks gorgeous, even here. I saw that inside this pickaxe, there is uh, something like, I don't know, glowing. Like It's like a lamp. And this is it. Outlast, copyright 2016, red barrels, all rights reserved. Of course, of course. Continued in Outlast 2. So, this is it, guys. We went through all the comics and... Um, we made it, right? Everybody understood the whole thing. It was rather confusing for me because, you know, I played Outlast, the Outlast uh, game, and, um, oh my god. It was pretty easy to understand, then the whistleblower, and um, then it came these comics and they showed a, a lot of details about the whole thing from outside the Mount Massive uh, and Markov Corporation um, it was kind of difficult and um, I don't know if um, Maybe I lost some details, let's say, uh, from this book, but it was it was cool. I like to make this video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed them all. Please give this video a like and the others if you watch them. And um, well, as I say at the end, continued in uh, Outlast 2, so. Maybe now I will understand more from it, but I know that the ending from Outlast 2 was criticized a lot and uh, I think I'm on the same part, let's say. Uh, well, thanks for watching everybody. I really thank your presence here. Uh, so. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I see you in my next video, which will be from Outlast 2. I didn't actually finish it while reading this, so um, that's it, guys.